All right, everybody. Welcome back to Junker Clunkers. I am Grady, your host as normal. We have Bella trying to get into the pizza box, Brent in my lunch. In today's video, I'm sorry, I kind of got too excited and I opened up the box last night. And I kind of sort of temporarily installed these and plugged them in to see what they were going to look like. So I kind of did a little bit more work, a little uh, investigating to see if they're even gonna work for what I wanted. And they, they seem like they're gonna be okay. Uh, the quality of these things are pretty good. They're, they're wigwags, and as we know, Henry has a plow. I have a, a beacon, it's not on here right now, but I do have a beacon. I just want something else, brighter, more caution, because when I'm plowing, people seem to be idiots. They never see me, and I don't wanna get hit. So in today's video, guys, all of this, is going to be mounted to the vehicle. I think I want to put one maybe up here, one over there. I don't know where I want to put the third one there as far as, because there's, there's three, three for the front, three for the back. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that one should go here, one on the opposite side. I don't know if maybe I can make something to, I don't know. If I put it down here, it's going to get hit on something, I think. I don't know. We're going to have to think about what we're going to do there, where, how we're going to do it. But I figure if we put them on the grill, you won't see them because the lights will be hidden by the plow. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We can always move them if we have to. But that's what we're going to do in this video. So uh, I'm going to get a little more organized, get some tools out. And we're going to start rocking and rolling and getting these things mounted up. I am going to have to extend the wires. As you saw, I do have, uh, what did I buy, 18 gauge or something, I think. Yeah, 18 gauge to match or at least come close to what's in here. I don't know, maybe this is, this probably is an 18. So I'm running a little thicker. It'll be okay. And I got some shrink, shrink crimp ones and some screws to hopefully... Hold these down. I have the brackets and the boxes here. I hope I got everything, guys. I hope so. Let's get at it. We'll bring you along. Oh, round two at the hardware store. Got the wrong screws. First time. So, I don't know where that went. Don't want to lose them. That's what I need right there, I guess. So, Bella and I are on the way back to the house again. Here we go. All right, guys. So, this is the little rubber grommet I'm using as a template. I want to put a light here and a light over there for now. We have three for the front, three for the rear. But this is what we're gonna we're gonna have for right now. And I gotta drill a hole so this nub sits in here a little better. So. This isn't being the easiest because these screws that I had to get, they're not self-tappers and this the bit that I got ain't working good. But it's weird because it's got to sit down, way down in. Hopefully you can see, it's got to sit way down in. It's being a pain in the butt. We'll get through it. I'm sure Brent wants to kill me right now. Project, right son? Sure. Jeez, I'm crazy. I'm... Somebody needs some, uh, some Earl. Oil? Yeah, there will be some strike hold or something. So once again, guys, you've heard of this uh, in a couple of videos. Strike hold reached out to us, wanted us to try this product. Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. I guess they use this for a lot of the bang bangs, but I guess it works as a cleaner and a lubricant also. So far, we've been using it on automotive, and we've cleaned our bang bangs with it. It seems pretty good. So we're just testing to see if it's going to hold up to the test of time, you know? I think I need a bit or sharpen this or something. You need a bit sharpener? Jeez, come on. I'm a 
falls through. Hi. There we go. Ah. Oh. You okay? Lost it. Probably ain't even in the right spot, but whatever. It's staying there. Yeah, that's where she's gonna be. I think we should get the stapler. Stapler? Yep. You think stapler's gonna work for this yep. crap? Yeah, but I think the stapler's gonna go right through the steel. That'd be nice. This is the only way that I could figure to make it work is use the self tapper as the drill bit because I don't have any good drill bits. I mean, it seems to work. Well, I mean, it, it cuts into it, it just it's not the way I prefer to do this. True, I'm gonna have to make a different bracket. I didn't realize <laughs> how loose that was, guys. Right. Remember, we yeah, I don't remember nothing. You don't remember? We did a video on that, and then we said it was too loose. Because <clears throat> you definitely don't want it coming back and hitting the windshield if you had to stop suddenly or something. Well, no. Windshield would be horrible. With the rear windshield? Yeah. It's signing over there. I'm giving you crap, son. What? I'm giving you crap, and you're not even realizing it. Uh, about what? You just said the windshield. What about the windshield? I don't want it to hit the windshield. Well, yeah, I'm saying if it hits the windshield, it'll be bad. Oh, yeah. come on. Just get in there. Monkey. Da. Give me that drill over there. Okay. I mean, that went through pretty easy. Uh, you know, sometimes I'd like a job just to go, soup, done. That would be nice all the time. Uh, maybe just every once in a while for me. I could I could handle once, you know. Mm -hmm. Just things are not going well here, guys. I have to get this from here to this hole so I can sneak it back out. And I'm not doing so good. I don't have any picks apparently, so Brent brought me a a bent cotter pin. Yeah, cotter pin and bent it. So I guess that's kind of the same thing, right? I mean, kind of. Only my shop has no tools left in it. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. I don't know how the hell to get this. Recording. Aha! Yay, you got it through. You started recording just as I got it. Yay. Yay. Wish it was down here more, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Not right now. It's not going to break or anything, right? I don't think so. Well, then it's fine. All right, guys. Here's one. There's there's one. One out of what, six? Well, we only gotta do two on the back for now. So we're gonna have to zip tie some of that to, you know, make it look better coming down. <laughs> hey dad. Yeah. We used our last couple of zip ties a couple well, weeks we'll ago. Get some more. Okay. But here's the other thing is I'm gonna have to extend this wire. And in order to do that, I gotta know how where I'm gonna mount this in the truck. And I guess that'll be next step. Maybe I'll just go do that other one. Okay. First. That way so you at least have it all set up. Cause it, listen, at nighttime guys, tonight, 
I would like to at least turn those two on the back. Just see how they look, you know? Yeah. You, you got to play around a little bit. So let's uh, let's go over to the other side. I'm not going to show you guys that. This was way too much a pain in the butt to do. And you're only going to see some of it. <laughs> yeah. So let me, uh, we're not going to go over there, get that done. I highly doubt we're going to be all 100% done. Uh, by nightfall, so this is probably going to be a two-day video. I don't know if I'm going to break it up into two-day videos, but we'll see. Okay. Not going any tighter than that. Okay. I think... Hey, Dad. Yeah. Psst, it's Bob. Better go say hi to Bob. Yeah, better go say hi to Bob. Hi, Bob! Hi, Bob. Hi, Brent! Hi, Mike! Say hi to the viewers. Subscribe, share, and like. Good job, Bob. Uh, or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> How you doing today, Bob? Doing good. That's doing good. Good. Yeah. That's good. We're just putting in some lights. Are you? Yep. Yeah. Some truck lights we got over there. Okay. <laughs> we'll we'll talk to you later, Bob. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Or not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. <laughs> Away we go. You know, you'd think these would have longer cords with them, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, first off, they're Chinese. Second off, these are like, what did I pay? Seventeen dollars, sixteen dollars for these. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cheap. You're lucky you got what you got. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna have to definitely extend the wires. <laughs> no kidding. But. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think, Bob? Looks good. I do good. Yeah, we got a light there and a light there. I think I like I'll step back so we can show the view eyes. This is supposed to be a quick project. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not so far. Huh? I'm going to stop recording for a second. Oh, that was crooked. All right, guys. This is getting annoying. The way this thing is set up is stupid. So, I have to run lights. I have to run the power cord. And I'm thinking about here. I don't know, Brent. What do you think? Like in here? I think in here, in there would do good, I guess. Because it's it's not as visible. And this kind of stinks. I, this isn't the way I wanted to do things. You know? I guess yeah. I should have laid it out a little better when I was thinking about it. I think this channel is becoming more of like an automotive vlog cham channel. Yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> like it's we're something. We're recording on the phone and everything. Well, I, I think this GoPro is uh, scary. Well, I don't want things to blow Well, that wasn't the bad GoPro, though. Yeah, it was the Go it was GoPro in general, Brent. Oh, all of them? Like the brand? Yeah, <laughs> And there's, if you look into it, there's, there's uh, quite a few people that have issues like that. I know, but what? Are, GoPro's not doing anything about it. What are you gonna oh. do with the other camera? I have then? no idea yet. Okay. I'm sure, the heck, I'm not gonna give it to somebody. Yeah. Well, I know that. I'm, I'm just wondering if you're gonna start using it again. I don't. I can't answer that, son. I mean, our our phones seem to be doing pretty good. Yeah, I can't answer the the unknown. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I do know that this is about how it's going to be for here. Hey, okay, roughly. We'll just have to take some washers or something, some large washers, and, uh, and mount that. Put <laughs> one here, one over there. And then I'm going to have to run. This is just weird. So the power, all, everything runs through this one. This is the main control, main control one. That's stupid. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they did it like that, but once again. It is an off-brand Chinese item. So I'm gonna have to run, I'm gonna have to run those two ones that I just did, run those up through. This is the power, all right, is, that, all right, is this the power one? Where go? I'm trying to get a bunch of different views know, and I'm angles. Sorry. So this is the power. This is going to go into the cab. Right? 
Right. Uh, and then this is the switch panel. Turns That's it on cheap and on. back there. And then that. And then that plugs into that. So this is fun. This is this is exactly what I wanted to be doing on. <laughs> this is a lot on of a cold pushing. night. Oh, it's not that cold. It's cold. Hey, dogs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and run some wires. You guys don't really want to see it. It's a lot of plug and play and extending wires and stuff like uh -oh. that. Your camera. You want to see the fun thing. Uh oh. There, your camera's back. You want to see the fun thing of when when it's working. Wig wag, wig wag, wig wag. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna run it kind of the same way that I did the amp, I guess. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys in the next clip. Brent is always trying to get off the camera quick. Sure. All right, guys. So. That's what we got so far. They're not mounted in, they're just set in there. They're not gonna fall out. You can't really see unless I turn the light on, which I can. Um, so I gotta extend wires. Let me turn the light on. So I gotta extend wires from up here and go all the way to the back unit where we uh, plugged in those those other ones, which I'm not going to do tonight. I got mom down here. Hi. <laughs> We're going to have a, a dinner date. Yeah. Apparently, it's going to take an hour for food to get here, but. Oh, well, we could take the truck. I don't really want. I don't really want to go to Kilford, but uh, that's what we're going to do this evening. I'm probably going to make this video all one because it's really not much done yet, so. I'll bring in the inside. Shelby is complaining terrible tonight. Like my messy interior now. This is what I've gotten done. Barely. Oh, the light. Turn back on. Where's my other light? Yeah, getting up there is a pain in the ass. So I got a whole bunch of, whole mess full of stuff right now. Uh, this is kind of way it's gonna be. I'm gonna put that, put that here. Oh, come on, get on that. That'll be sitting right there. I just gotta screw it onto there or double-sided tape. I'm not really sure yet. But I gotta tidy up some wires and tape some things. And I got more stuff to do, guys. So. We'll bring it back tomorrow. Make this a one part video, I guess. Yeah. It all reaches. All right. Dinner, mom. Family time. Family time. Hi, right, everybody. Sorry for the wind. This is the next day in the afternoon. <coughs> We've got, I think it's 16 gauge. What we got to do. We gotta extend the wires that are gonna lead from here to the lights out back. It's gonna be pretty self-explanatory, fairly easy. Hold on a second. Uh, get these going the right way. But we're just gonna run a red and a black. Well, I guess I should have got a white, but I guess it ain't gonna matter. We'll run the black as the white for that. Then we're gonna run it down through here, along the frame, we'll zip tie it up when we're all done. Come up the back, if you wanna show them. We'll come up the back a little bit, in between the, the cab and the tailgate, or the uh, bed, sorry. And then we'll clip those off and we'll make it so I can still disconnect them there. I'm gonna tape up so no water and stuff gets in them. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it, guys. Nothing too extravagantly fun, but gotta get done. <clears throat> You're really using the a marker as a spool. Well, yeah, why not? I just think it's funny. Where's the tape? Where's the tape? Yep. Down to there, and now he's just going to 
just gonna sneak run. sneak it under the frame there. Run it. I'm, under I'm literally the running it right al right alongside the loom. It's right already here, there. and we're gonna zip tie it. But for now, I'm just gonna just gonna kind of not wrap it around, but I'm gonna run it around it. Okay. So it's following the same path. Yeah. Yeah. And we will zip tie, but we have easy. to go get some zip ties. Uh, we have zip ties, remember? Do we have zip ties? I found a package of tiny good ones. Good zip ties? Or, or uh, not good zip ties. Do we have Amazon... Amazon crappy zip ties. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Well, we'll see you guys back in a minute. Uh. Alright, guys. So we got it all the way down to here. Now, I... We just need to attach it to the connectors, right? Pretty much. And yeah, then... That. I think I'm just gonna run it off in one. I don't think we need to have two. Okay. That's kind of stupid to run two. So you're wires. just gonna. I'm just gonna. You're gonna splice them together. I'm just gonna splice because they're going off the same exact ones. Yeah. I'm gonna just splice them together. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think that's All gonna right. cause any problems. Now I gotta get up. Here, let me see that for a second. I just show you guys. This is what Russ has been doing. He's gonna grind, I think I showed this in the other video, but he's gonna grind that down still. But it's looking pretty good under here. He's gonna build uh he's gonna build an inner piece of the rockers. Both sides need this done. But he's doing a killer job. He's doing a very good job, and we appreciate him very much. Yeah, we do. I mean, that's solid now, you know? That's a million times better than what it was. So I can't really record very well. Here you go. Ah! I'm sorry. I didn't mean. He broke it again. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys in the next clip. I don't know. All right. So I want to cut this back enough where I can reuse it. Because we probably will add lights as we go on. I'll step back so it actually focuses. Lengthen these It'd be about the same length, Oops, give or sorry. take. So right about there-ish. Okay. We'll need that end later. It is very sensible stuff. All right. I don't know. I'm tired again. I don't know how you can be tired. You slip all day. <laughs> that that's actually true. Well, I slept all day because we got a day off of school. That on there nice and tight like. And because I don't have my thingies, I have to use my vice grips. How close are you to me right now? Can this like see my boogers? No, I'm not even pointing it at your face. You seem like you're awfully close. I zoomed it out even farther that way so it gets a whole view of everything now. That's actually better than what I was doing before. Yeah, that's the way I kind of like things, zoomed out. So. The background looks fake. <laughs> well, I assure you it's not, everybody. Yeah, we're out here in the cold doing this. Well, it's not it's actually not cold. cold. It's not cold today. <sighs> when your knuckles crack, that means you've done it right, guys. <laughs> when your hand gets sprained, that means you did a good job. Did you hear my hands crack? Yeah, I did. I don't know if the video caught it. Remember, guys, if you break your hand, that means you did a dang good job. All right. I don't know. Brent's 16 and awkward. I'm not awkward. <laughs> You're awkward. I'm not awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lean on me. I am not a tripod. I'm just trying to get a good view. I'm not a tripod. His shoulder's there. I'm not leaning on him. Just because it's there doesn't mean it's there for you to lean I'm on. I'm not leaning on you. You were. All right, guys, we just had a call from someone and so we just had to stop for a second but now we got those connectors connected even more and we're just clamping them down right pinching them connections making connections <sighs> and dad sounds like he's gonna poop himself yeah they seem like they're gonna hold so now we gotta add a little bit of heat into the situation <sighs> You know, we're giving it that good heat with the blowtorch. 
melting the wires. Right, Dad? What is bad heat? I, I don't know. Hi, not, not enough heat, I guess. Hi, Shelby girl. Oh, too much heat. That, yeah, that's what I said. That you might were, be bad heat, guys. <laughs> melting the wires. Like I said, uh, can you guys see that? Yeah, we melted the wires some. You Look don't at. need wires. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. So I'm going to hold it here for a minute, then we're going to tape it up. Yeah, we could just run some copper line, no wire. Well, okay, copper wire, but yeah. no. You know, you the just touch it and get electrocuted. You want to give me the tape? <laughs> you know, grounding itself, arcing. Yeah, the good stuff. Back after another cut. Now we're taping it. So I'm just using this. The, these uh, shrink wraps, these shrink tube things here, connections should be enough to keep water and stuff out, but this is just a secondary uh, precaution. The good things about recording with this phone is that it limits some of the shaking, when, unlike when we were using the GoPro. But if when I go to turn it, it won't turn for a second. Mm -hmm. The camera will be focused on something for a second, and it'll make an abrupt turn if I don't go super slowly. Like if I go like that, it makes an abrupt turn about half a second later. All right, so or I can turn it slowly like that. We will have to grab, get some zip ties, some better ones. Let's zoom. And uh, we need this. Right. Do we need that? Yeah, that's oh. what we need. Yeah. And then we're gonna need the connections and the tape and the other connections and then the other connections and then the blow torch and then all the So we're gonna need all this stuff. We're gonna come up here. And Shall we take a two minute break? Okay. Okay. Alright guys. Hi. Don't melt the wire this time. Yeah, don't worry about my hands. Your hands will be fine. You burn them all the time. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. <laughs> ah. uh. Dunks, willing to be sponsored. <laughs> oh, Dunkers would be an awesome sponsor. Yeah. We love the sponsors we have now, though. Oh, we should get Bob a sticker that says something like Red Sox run on Dunkins or Bob something. Bob runs on Dunkins? That would be cool, yeah. I don't know, a Red Sox Dunkin' Donuts thing. Maybe they have something like that. I don't know. We're willing to be sponsored. All right, buddy. These lights turn on? Oh, these ones are on. Hold now. on. I want to tell me when it's got this same pattern back there. Okay. Where one blinks and then the other blinks? Yeah. These two are blinking at the same time. Yeah, they're gonna. I don't think it's gonna matter where I put these. Oh, they stopped blinking. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Oh, they're blinking again at the same time. Tell me if they change. We may have to run two different sets of wires for this. Now, they're still blinking at the same time, though. But they're blinking in different modes now. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to change that. I really got to do something different about this. <laughs> I don't like that. Make a new bracket for it, I guess? I don't know. The problem was you were trying to make it so that um, the toolbox... Tool yeah. Better. You were making it so the toolbox would be able to hold it there, but it didn't work out no, correctly. I guess I could but, come off in here. And that's why I said we should use zip ties. Zip tie it? Zip ties to hold it up like that, yeah. We couldn't just use a washer? I don't know. I don't think a washer would work that well. I don't think a zip tie is going to be that I aesthetically think pleasing. Well, if you cut Give the Give me zip a zip tie. Let me see what it looks like. Okay. We'll be back with our cheap Amazon zip ties. Recording. All right, oh, these zip ties suck so bad. Want to go buy more? They're just like, okay, well, we'll work, but it's going to be tight. And then it'll be like, oh, maybe maybe we won't work. <laughs> maybe you should put two on. I don't want to put two on. And then and just cut it. And then it's too long to, to work with. Maybe we should go buy more zip ties? I don't want to spend more money. Want me to see if we have medium-sized zip ties yes. in there? Yes. Okay. Wait. wait. You said wait. 
Hey. So now. That'll be aesthetically pleasing if we cut it, cut the end, and then put another one on. Just put it on like this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can get onto this side, though. That Yeah, that's what I was saying. Here, I'll go see if we have medium-sized ones. All right, guys. The garage is a mess. A big mess. I'm pretty sure they're used to being a mess. If they're watching this channel for the first time, they'll probably never watch again because of the mess. I mean, I guess that's true. Yeah. Well, at least we keep some stuff in its right drawer, maybe? I don't know. No zip ties in there. Hey, zip ties! I can't say. I'm blind. Okay. Oh. Ah. Same size? Dad, your hand's in the way. Oh, I'm so sorry that I'm in the way. See, guys, that looks pretty good, pretty sturdy. We'll just have to cut it. Uh, I hope you guys saw what we just did, because you stopped the recording. We're just cutting the zip tie. Oh, you're cutting the zip tie fully off, so you can do longer ones? Well, so I can do a longer one, and I can make it look similar. Oh, wait, I have to grab another longer one. I'll be back. Yeah. It's three. It's three twenty-one. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm recording again, by the way. I can't get you. It's so you can see we're on our last zip tie. Uh, I'm not gonna end this video until it gets dark out because I want to show the. Gosh darn it! I want to show. show I want to show the viewers how well these do, and if they're good enough, maybe I'll put them in the description if you guys are interested. Uh. I'm not gonna make any money off them, but if it passes along a cool product that will work for you, I'm all right with that. Would you like me to put the zip tie in so ah, you can get it in? Got it. Okay. <laughs> and look, you can even zip tie them. Uh, they even have enough space to zip tie yeah, them instead kinda, of using the screws. You know, they're kind of pointing up and I might like that in the end. The, I, I, the reason that I'm okay zip tying these is because these might have to move because uh just because of where they are or because where they the are i might have to take them out and move them for because the plow is going to be here so for the plow do you, um does a br is the bracket for the plow do you have to mount it on when you get the plow no it's already on or so do the it's trucks on. do trucks come with the plow no mount no. So, yeah so you have to put the plow mount on it yeah that's why i was asking i mean all right guys so we'll bring you guys back at or after dark, maybe after dinner, we'll come out. And we'll probably add the beacon, too, so you guys can get the full effect of what it's going to look All like. All right. Well, so we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. See you guys. This is why I can't go out in public. We found a free Minute Mount Plow. Guys, it's free. Just, <laughs> drive, just driving by, and I happened to see a white piece of paper sticking on it. I was like, go see if that says free. It, it's free, guys. I'm trying to talk my uncle into getting it, because I don't really need it. Yeah, I could probably make a couple bucks by selling it. We can't lift it. Uh, I think we can get it in the truck. You think so? Maybe. Let's uh, let's debate the... I don't need it, and I got plenty of projects. But if somebody I know could use this, like my uncle... Hmm. I gotta think for a second, guys. Alright. The motor, it's got the pistons. motor connectors yeah it's it's got everything it needs uh. all right let's uh let's see if we can load it all right guys hopefully you're gonna be able to see this uh process happen I don't know. We're gonna try like heck to get you some kind of footage. But, is it recording? I think it's recording. All right, what do we do first? Throw this last? Right? 
this off. All right, so. Now we need to get it up there. Let's uh, come on this side. What we're going to do is we're going to have to lift it up and probably keep it to that side. What? Probably keep it to that side. How are we going to do it? I have no idea. Oh, dude, this thing is heavy. Ready? Come down here and lift it. So we can lift okay. it, lift it, set it up Where on here. Where am I supposed to grab it from? Like I am, probably. Ready? Three. Drag! Oh. That was almost my point. That was very close to my non steel toe shoes. Woo! A couple more people would probably be nice. It's going to be the only way. Let's uh, pull it this way just a little more. First. A little more. Okay. Or we could stand it up and flip it. The problem is standing it up. If we can barely lift it, how are we going to stand it up? Uh. Woo. Shall we? Chill. You want to make five bucks? Want to make five bucks? Yeah, good one. I'll do a little slip in. That'd be awesome. Uh, I figured this will be the easy way. Lift this up and then in. I'll probably leave that end down for now. The majority of people up here are much better. Shelby, it's all right, Shelby. Stupid me picking this shit up, right? Uh, we can get two on that side, bro. Two on this side it shouldn't be too bad. Where would you like me to set this? No, just, you go ahead. Uh, this is gonna move. Yeah, can you pick up on that? This uh, over front? Yeah. Just watch your fingers, I don't want
only got a couple trees to go, so I think that's in. Yes, sir. You want any money for hooking? Nah, it's all. I appreciate you very much. All right, guys. That's uh, that's a heavy girl. She's in the truck. It's pretty good shape, guys. No rod holes. The cutting blade seems pretty straight. I'm not really sure why it went out of service. That motor doesn't look too old. See if my uncle wants it. If he doesn't, up on line it goes. Recording. Trying to see if you guys can get see the light. Trying to get see. All right, everybody. There you go. The likes look pretty cool. I mean, I didn't pay very much money for those things. Uh, the beacon on the top, I paid like 60 bucks, 50 bucks years ago. Um, we got a plow for sale if anybody wants one. <laughs> right, Brett? Yep. <laughs> Shelby's down there too. Shelby's over here. So we're going to go and make some dinner and uh, we'll spend some time with Bob. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. We got a Pretty cool video coming for you this week. It's cool with me. I mean, I'll explain it to you later. Everybody, you make guys. sure uh, make sure you're always liking this video. Go back and, and watch some of the older stuff too. We got like 508 videos, something like that. Is 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 what I'm up to now. That's a lot of videos, guys. It takes a lot of work to to put content out. I'm not gonna lie, and to continuously put it out. You know what I mean? For long periods of time, so I'm committed. Are you? Just saying. I'm going to head out of here, go make dinner. I'm going to have Brett make dinner. Who's going to make dinner? I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this video. So you guys will see it probably around 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, always thinking of family and friends. We got two people having uh, some health issues today in our family and... Uh, Thoughts and prayers are always with them. I'm not going to mention names, just just because I'm just not, I'm not going to mention names. But we're thinking of you if you watch this. And remember, guys, like, share, subscribe, or don't.